and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes so without wasting time let's get started today's problem is merge without extra space which is marked as a hard level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given two arrays a and b and its length can be anything from 1 to 10 raised to the power 5 and array elements can be anything from 0 to 10 raised to the power 7 okay all right let's find out what we have to do so we have to merge this array and merge these arrays basically these arrays will have elements in sorted order okay so if you will see a array it has the elements which are in sorted order in itself and b array has elements which are in sorted order in itself okay all right two three sorted and two four seven ten is sorted as well and what we have to do we have to modify a and b so that it contains so that a contains all the small elements all the first n elements and b should contain the remaining last m elements of the sorted okay all right so basically what we have to do we have to do something like ki if we combine a and b the output a and b it should form a sorted array okay it should form a sorted array so basically all the elements all the smaller elements should be in the a and all the greater elements should be in the b and uh, all the remaining all the elements should be in sorted order and we have to simply don't do anything because arrays are passed through reference and uh, if I will change make any change in this a and b, it will be reflected to its parent function as well. Okay, so we will not return anything it because it's not needed. All right, I hope the problem statement will be clear. So now let's move on to how are we going to approach this? Okay, all right. So like the first approach, brute force approach is very very simple. Key take one array list, store all the elements of a and b into it, and simply and simply uh, sort it. Like basically we can store if we want to store it any any list we can directly store it without using without having to use sorting or out so we can do it in big of n time complexity and after that first fill first of first n elements to a array and remaining elements to b array okay all right after inserting it into one array list so it will be having the time complexity of big of n and space complexity of big of n as well but if you will see the question title here itself it is written merge without extra space we don't have to take any extra space okay all right so how can we do it then because look any square time complexity can or not be possible here it will give me tle because all the two arrays have 10 raised to the power 5 so 10 raised to the power 5 into 10 raised to the power 5 10 raised to the power 10 which will give me tle okay all right then what is the approach look if I will uh, break down our approach, it will be something like key all the elements of A array, the output, uh, output array I am talking about. For the output, all the elements of A array should be less than all the elements of B array. Okay, all right. Which means like all the top, let's say if uh, it's if its length is n, its length is m. Okay, so all the elements of n array should be less than all the elements of B array. Okay. All right, and after that, so let's say if n and m length are there, so all the highest m elements will be filled in this b. Okay, all right. So yeah, like uh, if I will again tell you, look. So basically, it means okay, this is my ten and this is my two. Okay, one pointer is let's say i here and j here. Okay, so for the sorted array, if we talk. 10 should always be less than this like the a i a last element should be less than b's first element okay then only it will be a sorted order okay so if you will see this 2 2 3 4 7 10 here also 4 is less than 7 like the last element of a array is less than the first element of b array okay all right so how we can achieve this how we can achieve this and that's very very interesting part as well so let's take two array here 2 4 7 10 okay this is one array and another array is only 2 to 3 okay 2 and 3 all right so what i told i will have one i pointer here i will have one j pointer here okay all right after that look j this second array should have all the greater elements after sorting like after merging okay all right so how we can do that look first of all i will check if a i a array i is less than if a i is greater than bj okay bj so it will be swapped just swap both swap if ai is greater than bj then then swap all right so after swapping it will become 10 and this will become 2 this will become 2 okay all right after that again decrease i and j so i should be decreased and j should be increased j should be increased 
all right after that you will see again ai7 is greater than bj yes so again what we will do again we will swap so on swapping this will become 7 and this will become 10 okay all right after that look after that what will happen is uh, like again j and i will be decreased so this will become what this will become 3 okay all right so what i did here 10 no it will not be 10 why am i writing 10 it should be 3 okay 3 all right now what i will do is my j has reached to the end i will again i will stop my uh, this uh, procedure and now what i will do i will simply sort both of the arrays simply sort both of the arrays okay all right so on sorting this it will become 2 2 3 4 and sorting this it will become 7 10 and yeah that is it guys that's our desired output that is our desired output okay i hope this one will be clear this approach will be clear very very simple very very basic approach is there so you can try this with this example as well and you will find it oh it is succeeding let's take reverse let's take this two three array here in the starting let's make a and b different okay so swap this two three and another array is two four seven ten okay all right again look again what i told very very same thing it will be all the second array should have all the greater elements present okay all right so one pointer is that this three another pointer is at this two okay so i will check if ai is greater than bj yes ai is greater than bj so simply swap simply swap so two will become here and three will come here okay all right after that i will reach here and here okay again i will check if ai is greater than bj no ai is not greater than bj so simply don't do anything and simply again decrease both okay so one will be pointing to minus one now and when we will have minus one simply come out of this loop and solve both of the arrays solve both of the arrays so guys yeah i hope the problem explanation will be very very clear to you if you want you can take as many examples here also you can take so first of all 20 will be swapped with this two okay after that 15 will be swapped with this three after that 10 will be swapped with this 8 so yeah these three swapping will be done because 13 is greater than 9 okay all right so after this swapping the new array first new array will become 1 5 9 2 3 8 okay and second array will become something like 10 15 20 13 10 15 20 13 okay all right and after that it's pretty basic simply solve both so on sorting this it will become 1 2 3 5 8 9 and on sorting this it will become 10 13 15 20 and yeah that's it we have got our answer i hope the problem explanation and approach will be crystal clear to you if yes please subscribe to the channel and share your comments and uh, now let's move on to the core section but before moving to the core section i want to show you a very cool uh, chrome extension which i have made with which you can uh, watch uh, youtube videos very easily of dsa okay all right all right let me give you a quick walkthrough of the extension which i have built so you will get the link in the comment section pinned one so you have to go through that it will open this ui here you will be having one add to chrome button you just have to add it you just have to add it okay all right after that you will go to any geeks for geeks question you will have to refresh it once so that changes are getting reflected after that you will get this watch tutorial button okay this watch tutorial button it will be here and on clicking of this a simple modal will open and here you can find all the tutorials here first one is mine only counted versions which i have just updated yesterday and there are others as well uh strivers is there and this is tech those one geeks for geeks as well okay all right so whatever you want to to watch you can simply click on this and uh, it will be open opened here as well and if you want to see it on youtube just click on watch on youtube and you will be uh, moved to this video and you can watch it here as well okay all right so yeah that was it guys about the extension and you can pin it as well like you can use this pin and after that you can use this extension on lead code as well you can use this extension on lead code as well okay all right so yeah that's it guys let's move back to the uh, code part so first of all what i will do is i will take two variables n is equal to a dot length and m is equal to b dot length okay after that let's take two pointers as well these are the length and now we will take two pointers i is equal to n minus 1 and j is equal to n j is equal to 0 okay because if you remember first array i will start from the last and second array i will start from very beginning okay all right after that let's write a while loop while i is greater than equal to 0 and then j is less than m 
we will continue this loop we will continue this loop and in this loop what i told if you remember if ai is greater than bj if ai is greater than bj what i will do i will swap i will swap ai and bj so how are we going to swap let's say int tmp is equal to ai and uh, ai is equal to bj and after that bj is equal to ai very very simple it is okay all right but we will if it is not true and if it is true in both time i will be uh, decreasing and increasing our pointers respectively so i minus minus will be done and j plus plus will be done okay all right and after that i will come out of this loop and now we just have to sort both the arrays arrays dot sort a and similarly arrays dot sort b okay all right let's try to submit it but before that i can see one issue in swapping here bj is equal to tmp not ai okay all right let's submit it again uh, meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and its code you will get on the github so please follow me on that as well and uh, yeah please download the chrome extension as well because it is really really helpful and i am paying for the youtube api so please rate it as well okay all right i think it is getting accepted yeah that's it guys so please yeah um, I will see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding and bye.